desert, you'll never feel like you're in a bigger place. It just goes on and on and on. It's, it's really something that takes a little adjusting to. But once you get there, you kind of balance yourself with what's going on. It's quite amazing. This is where we stayed. Goulding's Lodge. It's a great place. It, you just feel... I don't know. I guess it's just so different because I'm not used to being in the desert and these big majestic monuments that are there. But it just does kind of transport you. Yeah, it does. We are off the Navajo reservation in Utah. Um, Monument? Monument Valley, Valley, near the Valley of the Gods. Yeah. And everywhere you look, it's just phenomenal. And wait, this is our campsite. This is what we get to look at. That's, how how bad is that? Not too. Oh, he's doing a 360. Woo. See? <laughs> this is our campsite. <laughs> wow! <laughs> place was so peaceful. Yes, it was. We had little trails right at our campsite that we could climb up on the on the mountain back it there. It was just wonderful. And we had a tree. Try to find our uh, like to have a tree. next location here on the map. I really enjoy looking on paper maps before I go to my phone just to kind of look at the area you can look at it from a bigger area and and see well there's so where you want to go really know where you're at yeah. on the map for you people that think the uh, Google is <laughs> <laughs> always have a hard we, printed map yeah we use them both we use them both yeah So driving out there, you just see these lone monuments that are spectacular. At the same time, they're so familiar. It's like yeah. you've been here a million times. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are so fun. Oh, what a view. Yeah. It's quite spectacular. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And if you just stick to the road, you'll see a lot. But if you get out, take some of the side roads and hike, and get behind some of these monuments, it's quite stunning. They're, one side looks one way, and the other side's completely different yeah. sometimes. We took a long dirt road Yeah. to see a lot of them. Pretty cool. But... This place has an enormous history. Okay, so what makes Monument Valley so interesting? The formations. They are truly fascinating, but what else? What are so compelling about these rock formations anyway? I mean, they're cool, but there's something else. Well, if you grew up watching movies, you've seen this in the background of countless movies from westerns to back to the future i mean it just goes on and on music videos everybody has used monument valley as a backdrop so it's very familiar to us it speaks to us it's like well of course it's in the background you don't even notice it and yet it feels right so how did all this start well a man named Harry Goulding needed a new home and a fresh start for his sheep trading business. As land became available, he and his wife purchased a substantial plot of land in Monument Valley and quickly set up a trading post. The Great Depression hit in the 1930s. Hard times had fallen on the country, including Monument Valley. Well, Harry had heard movie production companies in Hollywood were scouting out locations in the Southwest to use in film. So Harry and his wife took their last $60 and headed to Hollywood, navigating the long lines of people trying to get into the movies in the 1930s was difficult. 
everyone was trying to get into the movies. Harry struck gold, so to speak, and Harry would meet the famous director John Ford. John Ford saw Harry's photos of Monument Valley. He knew it was the perfect location for his next movie. The Goldings received an advance payment, and in a few days, John Ford and his crew began filming Stagecoach, starring John Wayne. Well, here we are, back on the movie set. <laughs> It was so much fun exploring Monument Valley. You just, some of the places you can just feel the presence of the Indians when they were there. Yeah, this is a this Navajo is a reservation. reservation. Yeah. And there, uh, you, you, you get to uh, meet and talk to uh, Navajo residents everywhere. As we're traveling up Highway 163, there's, this is the famous Mexican hat rock, um, which is cool. You can hike up to it. but And so we just got in there and dug around these monuments. It's a lot of fun. And then we went up to um, the San Island Recreation Area. There are these 3,000-year-old petroglyphs. It's an easy walk to, to check them out. And they represent five different tribes over the years. Different people have came and gone, and and it was a spectacular trip. Mm -hmm. Bless. Look, be prepared for a little heat. A little, little heat. dust. Uh, definitely, Monument Valley is definitely a great place to visit. There's so many things to see. I didn't go into all that because there's tons of videos out there on different sightseeing trips and uh, historical things. Uh, there's a lot to do there, but till next time. Till next time. <laughs>